Hi everyone. Another important news which I quickly want to share with you today. Um, if everyone should recollect that uh, Kwankwaso, which is uh, the Nigerians, New Nigerians People Party, uh, Rabio Kwankwaso, uh, make a comment yesterday that the rich peoples are the biggest problems in Nigerians. What he's saying is that the rich people are the ones that is actually benefiting a lot and they are the ones creating the programs to um, to enslave or put people, a lot of people Nigerians in this particular properties we are talking about. And we know Kwankoso is a former two-term governor of kind of state. Uh, he, why he was addressing the stakeholders on his visions for Nigerians at the Chatham's house and uh, the world leading um, politics institutions and the think tanks uh, forums that he had uh, yesterday. Uh, he said that forget about big people who are actually the problems of our country. And we know the presidential candidate of the NNPP uh, further stated that with supporters at the grassroots, uh, we are only party to today and we will be succeeded in Nigerians today in terms of votes and support that we are working in the southern part of the country. So Kwankaso is saying, look, uh, regardless of what people are saying, they are not actually um, a party that actually published themselves out for the world using the social medias or any other kind of medias. That what they are doing is that they are working at the grassroots. I mean, that means they are meeting people at the grass level, talking to people and sharing the visions on what they want to do for the country. Kwan uh, Kwasa also eat back uh, at the Labour Party and his presidential candidate, uh, Peter Obi, over the comment asking him uh, to withdraw from the presidential race for Labour Party. And he said, for us, the difference between the North and the South is that the North knows as more than Southern part of the country. If you are from the North, I am sure you wouldn't have made that statement for Kwan Kwasa to withdraw from Labour Party and you should go and look at my credentials. That was what Kwan Kwasa, the comment that Kwan Kwasa replied to one of the, um, one of the people that asked him a question at the Chatham House um, about whether if he want to step and support Labour Party, uh, because he knows that Labour Party is a big, big, uh, it's a big, big challenge party for, for NMPPC and uh, it's just a means of whether there will be a coalition between uh, Kwan Kwaso and Labour Party. But one of the things I know about Kwan Kwaso, Kwan Kwaso definitely, according to what I've heard about what he has done in Kano, uh, he's done well in Kano uh, in terms of education. Uh, I think he created a lot of free education. And he has sent a lot of uh, people that live in Kano, send some of them that want to read in abroad. And some of them have been sent on a scholarship. And in terms of security, I know he has done well when doing his regimes. And he also said that he's also during the time of his regime, he did not borrow anything uh, to finance the state's infrastructures. And some of the money that was internally, internally generated during the time when he was in governor. And to be honest, he had a lot of um, details, plans that he has, we want to do for Nigerians, uh, especially when it comes to education. And I also make mention that uh, he also want to uh, recruit up to one million of military personnel, as well as a lot of millions of also uh, police as well, um, that will guide the nations and making sure that uh, the nations is uh, quietly secured. 
and they want to bring back educations, create a kind of free educations for a particular levels of uh, youth, especially, and I'm not sure whether in the primaries and the secondary. And um, it, it's probably a lot of things that he actually wants to do for the country. Uh, he has more details on what he wants to do. But I'm not sure whether he's, uh, he has applauded uh, Nigerians' interests. Uh, maybe he has done very well because Nigerians can also be looking at it and saying, look, he is from the north. Um, in terms of fairs and equity, he should have allowed the, someone from the southeast uh, to, uh, to be the president at this current dispensation. So, um, so I'm not sure whether he's going to gather more support from that region. But, uh, but in Tankano, uh, I think uh, he, he will definitely do well. And he's also going to compete with someone like Atiku in the northern part of Nigerians. Uh, he's going to share a lot of major votes uh, because a lot of people actually support him. So we will see what he wanted to do. To me, he seems to be a kind of uh, fair leader uh, when it comes to comparing him with uh, Peter Obi. Uh, he knows a lot of mismanagement has gone up in the country, a lot of money that has been stolen. Uh, people are not being caught, charged, and also uh, uh, sentenced. So he knows a lot of things that's going on in the grassroots. Uh, but my questions I always ask him is, is that uh, um, uh, the source of his wealth, uh, the source of his health, and how does it actually generate his wealth? Uh, because he said he has been in the public service for quite some time. Uh, yes, he has done well. He's, 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 he has a lot of public knowledge, and he has done well in terms of international diplomacy. Uh, he's represent Nigerians in, across the world. So, but we will see whether he can gain grants um, and become Nigerian president coming uh, February next month. So, um, that was what from uh, information from Kwankoso, and uh, we also noticed that. Um, uh, there's still a lot of uh, um, words that has been said uh, between PDP and APC uh, about um, APC accusing uh, Atiku that Atiku is using uh, a PVC uh, uh, to siphon public's uh, money into using a kind of special uh, purpose vehicles out of the country. Uh, so, and he has been accused uh, based on one or two uh, videos uh, that was released by one of the accusers that's accusing articles. So, but uh, there's still a lot of things going on. But what PDP, PDP said that, that they will not be distracted by these antics of the APC uh, or Progressive Congress in its. In a, in a quest to win the year 2023 presidential elections. And the allegation against his presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, on a special purpose vehicles, uh, was a distraction to the party and to divert his attention from winning the elections. And uh, they also said, uh, people from PDP also said that, look, that the party and its campaign cancelled. I will continue to rally with Nigerians in a collective desire to restore the nations to the path of purposeful leadership and prosperity for all Nigerians. However, no matter how much falsehood appears to, to thrive, the truth will always prevail at the end of the day. And they want APC uh, to, to tender an unreserved apology to Abubakar over the unsubstantiated allegations. And they believe that PDP at this moment, they are panicking over the fears of losing the powers. And they will, we will crunch them. That's what PDP said. And, they, and the People Democratic Party also said that all the all progressive Congress APC, they are panicking over the fear of losing the power. And even uh, there are senators, uh, senators uh, in your Shahayu, you know, by Ramesh Shahayu, there's still a controversy from the G5 uh, asking in your Shahayu to step down uh, for the fears of equity, justice, and, and fairness. 
and Iran Shanghai used to say, look, it's only when they become the president, then that decisions will commence. And they don't want to uh, uh, remove IU at this moment because Atiku said, though, it doesn't have that uh, constitutional powers and the wills to do that. So that's one of the problems that people are still thinking about the will of Atiku and the strength of his capability. Uh, whether he has that strength and the mentors to be able to tell people to, to, to go. So, but there's still a lot of issues that are still going on um, between the G5 and Atiku uh, campaigns, as well as the a a PDP's uh, uh, presidential candidates, uh, Atiku. But uh, what are you, are you, uh, you said it, you said yesterday that uh, the claim at PDP rally head at the arcade groups of Ake Palace in Abe Okuta, and it uh, shows that uh, APC is afraid. They were afraid of us in Oshun State, and they will also refuse to give us the stadium because they did. We did all our rallies on the road, and we won. And anyone who who go that APC control state, they will make sure that we don't get the venues. Nigeria should stop worrying because APC are showing their panic. They are worried that they are going to lose the power. And they believe that when they are in Ikiti, they refuse to give us the appropriate venues. They close all the window stage stations. There were no buses. There is, it is to tell you that PDP is bouncing back. We are stronger than ever, and because of that, nobody should worry about whether obstacles they put in our way. I, are you also said for that the PDP will crunch APC at the polling booths, world, local government, as well as nationally? We must recover this country, we must rebuild the Nigerians because when we come into power, we form this party precisely because we want a better living condition for our people. Um, the statement from IU that they want a better life for Nigerians. Yes, I think when during the PDP era, things were a little much better. But we had a lot of uh, allegations of multiple corruptions during the PDP era. And um, they, we even had that even corruptions is even in the highest level when it comes to there. But even Corruptions even now becoming one of the most highest level during the APC. So both the APC and the PDP, um, they are the ones that took Nigerians to this level grounds that we have at this moment. So what are you saying? It's just saying it to think that Nigerians will support PDP. And he said we must recover this country. We must rebuild Nigerians because we can. We came into power. We formed this party precisely because we want a better living condition for our people. And he also promised that PDP presidential candidate come back to power. Life will be better for all Nigerians. And that is completely lie. And the presidential candidate council, PCC of the all Progressive Congress have asked the People's Democratic Party to come clean on allegations of money laundry, uh, sundry charges regarding a special purpose vehicles account operated by his presidential candidate, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, when he was a vice president between 1999 to 2007. APC PCC noticed that rather than addressing the allegation of criminal money laundry and reckless abuse of public trust leveled against Atiku by one of his closest aides, the PDP should try in vain to defend the presidential candidate by embarking on a thorough diversionary journey by drawing up a tales allegation against his rival. The issue Nigerians people want the PDP and his candidate to address as simple. They have was, was the Whistleblower Michael Ashimuga, who sworn to an oath employed by Atiku, did Atiku make 
scandalous confessions in a telephone conversation how he and his former boss, Presidential Lucia Gomez-Basson, just set up SPV Shossa's marine float to steal public money? Was the tape voice not article? It is obvious that the PDP presidential candidate has not defense to this allegation because he admitted in his viral confessions. This was the reason why we boldly made a call on him to beat the path of honor for once by withdrawing from the presidential race. We also urged the authority to hold him into account. But the hunger on and the pendant who saw his withdrawal as an hand to the campaign bizarre in desperations to so started to painting the kettle black to look like they are pot. This resulted to counter mod uh, counter not only an admission of criminal guilt, it's an irresponsible way to cover up the concrete evidence of conspiracy and corruptions. How can PDP pretend that Tiku is innocent of the allegations when even a general Alicia ambassador is boss and his collaborators? Has documented article legendary uh, corruption in his book and I had sworn never to support article presidential ambitions to avoid what God. So the, the, the cocktails of lies and tales by PDP against APC presidential candidate does not disclose any witness to their dress less uh, uh, dreaders allegations. So there's a lot of things going on. And this, the rejudicated allegation cited by either being thrown away by the court of or the despondent, like in the case of Alpha Belter, as we draw the untried and untested allegations, the former members of the Alpha Belters had even gone ahead in recent advertorial to endorse the APC presidential candidates as the best man for the job. On the contrary, a patriotic citizen against all existential dangers have stepped forward to conf confront Atiku with allegations disposed in an affidavit. If the PDP has many decals of respect for Nigerians, if it has any concern for Nigerian youth, and a future without corruptions. They should come clean on the allegations and stop dancing around the real issues. Bitter, bitter, bitter allegations from P APC to PDP. This is still the pending information. We will see whether APC will actually go to the court and um, challenge article with these allegations uh, we'll see whether they will actually win we'll see where these at allegations will go further we'll see whether this allegation is only merely before the elections after the elections the allegations will stop well let's see where the where, where pdapc is actually going with these allegations against article and we also heard from um uh, Basojo, uh president lucia gomabasojo and he make a comment that uh, about uh, the previous MK or Abiola may so rest in peace. That he was denied a presidential because of bad belly. Who has a bad belly? Uh, former presidential Lucia Gombaso John Wednesday said that the late uh, philanthropics Mashud Kashi Na Kashi Mawo Oluwa Oluwa Abiola was denied presidency in Nigeria because of the bad belly, and which simply translates as envy or bad blood. Olusha Gun stated this while speaking at the uh, centenary celebration of the Baptist Boys High School in Abel Kuta in Ogun State Capital. Uh, in his speech, which was tied to, You are our MP. Obasanjo expressed gratitude to the school for providing a galaxy of men and leaders like himself and MK Abiola. And Obasanjo urged youth to aspire to the office of the president to make it three times. The school produced Nigerian's president after himself 
and the former head of interim national government, that's Ernest Shonekon, is said today they are distinguished old boys in all walk of life, private schools, academics, military, paramilitary, civil, society, traditional rulers. Just as the present, present president of Old Boys Association, BBHF, uh, Professor Kayode Oye Shiku, Pastor John said, I believe that I must not be too forgetful to live our youth truly. The son of Obasanjo, a modest war Victoria, a general and former military head of state, and a former president of Nigerian chief MKO Abiola, the first communication industry millionaire in Nigerians, and the acc acclaimed winner of 1993 presidential election, was in a class by, my, by myself. Not, if not for Nigerians' bad belly, MKO Abiola will have been the president. Um, me, me as a president, we will have needed more old school of B, B, S to be a president for all. So permanently located it in B B H S after three times, and this is a challenge for us and coming gener generation of old boys. So according to Ambassador John, without B B H S, he would not have been what he is today. Again, reminding us always of our characters and conduct, we must purely say BBHS with education plus. And for him, it stood me in a good till throughout my life so far. Without BBHS, I would not have been what I am. And we must impart with humanities, honesty, integrity, wisdom, courage, competence, and fear of God. This must continue to be a characteristic and an attribute to make a good change for good wherever we are. We must be different. The comment of the former military head of state came after three decades after the annulment of the June 12, 1993 presidential election by then the head of state, Ibrahim Babangida. His comment also came just a few weeks before February 25, in. February 25, 2023 presidential election. They recall that this is not the first time Obasanjo will make a public comment on the annulment of June 12, 1993 presidential election. He made a similar comment at the functions in Abeokuta in April 2021. Obasanjo was a military head of state. We know between 1997 and October 1990. October 1990, February 1996 to October 1997, as well as the country democratically elected president between 1999 to 2007. So there's a lot that has gone up um, in, in Nigerian politics. Things are getting tough. Things are getting um, in a way that you can't even expect. Um, people are asking each one of these candidates to speak to the context of what they actually want to do. People are tired of this uh, attack against, against each other. People are tired against... Uh, yes, it's also good for every candidate to show that they have true genuine interest for that country because Nigerians doesn't want a candidate that will say hey today and they will say look they don't say that when they become a president so we don't want that kind of a candidate we want a candidate that stick to their words stick to everything they've said if they promise Nigerians what they will have to do in their manifestos even when they are speaking, they should be able to make sure that each one of their promises are fulfilled. So there's a lot of things that's currently going on in the country. Nigeria need to fix, and that country needs to be fixed. Kwankwaso is a great uh, presidential, and he has characters, he has attributes. But I'm not sure whether Nigerians will be ready uh, for his party today. Um, allegations against Atiku, uh, Nigerians should take his economy serious and security agents should investigate. They shouldn't 
um, put that allegations under the carpet. They should investigate and see whether that allegation is true. Allegations against um, Bola Ahmed Tunumbu uh, should also be investigated, uh, especially the allegations against extortations and uh, allocation of continuous funds from Lagos State when it was uh, currently in a gym. And also the company that is set up during the time when it was there. So that allegations should be investigated. And each one of that allegations uh, should become a paramount. Nigerians should know that they don't want a president to have a baggage of allegations that is against them. We want a president that has less allegations, healthy, and able to abide to what they want to say. Because we don't want to elect a president that the old world knows that is a bad product. And it has a bad product in the past. So these are things that Nigerians need to look into before they elect and put and they vote for any candidate. So Peter will be tempted to have a less bargains among all these candidates. So Nigerians should be able to give him the vote this time around. They should kick PDP, they should kick APC, they should look for Labour Party because this is the only party that Nigerians hasn't tested. So Nigerians need to test a new party to see what they can do. At this stage, we need a new party because if the new party can able to take Nigerians to the promised land Nigerians deserve, then we know that it is good that Nigerians go for that party. And that is what Nigerians should think about. Uh, so, so this is what is currently going on in Nigerians at this moment. And there's still a wrangling allegations, and we hope that uh, these wrangling allegations will resolve as soon as possible. So I will bring you more information as I come across. So you guys have a great day and all the best. Stay blessed. Bye for now. And please don't forget to share, um, uh, share these videos, make a comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channels. And I will look forward to bringing you another more important news as I come across. Have a great day. Stay blessed. Bye for now.